Hi everyone, Kathy here from Dirty Booty Soaps, and today I am using some new molds. Um, I picked these up at Canadian Tire. Uh, they're silicone loaf molds, they're small little loaf molds, and uh, so I'm going to do today a coffee espresso soap in these molds. I'm hoping to do a dark soap. Uh, I'm doing a uh, gingerbread brown. I have a little of the uh, copper sparkle mica, and then I'm going to do a swirl of white. My fragrance oil will discolor, so I'm not going to fragrance the white portion um, of my soap. I'm going to do a little bit of piping on top, hopefully, and do a swirl in the soap in the white, so I want it to stay the lighter color. So we're going to get started, and blend in my lye water. Um, we'll bring it to a light trace and pour some off to be the white or lighter colored soap. And we'll see how these turn out. I, I just felt like doing something different and cute and and so we'll see how this goes. <laughs> Uh, this would be something cute to have on the, the Etsy site. Kind of like a foodie uh, type of soap. So we're going to see what we can get here. I'm going to just set that in there and pour some off here for my swirl and my piping. I think about that much will do. And then I'm going to pour some into another pitcher here for my copper color. Um, just a bit there. And this will be the brown. So let me see. First we'll pour off the copper in there. Set that off to the side. And the brown. It will brown naturally a bit with this uh, I believe it's 9% vanillin, so it's pretty high vanillin content. So, and then the white, of course, will pour into the white. You probably can't see what I'm doing here, but you'll see when we start mixing. And that will not be fragranced. So actually, I think I'm going to blend that first. the white and then we'll set it off to the side a bit oh. all right let me scrape this off just a tad here And we'll get to our brown and start pouring. So I left that a bit fluid. I might come back and hit it again with the blender when I'm ready to pipe. So I'm going to pour my fragrance, most of it in here, a little bit in the copper, like so. And we'll start to, I'm going to blend my copper next, just to give it a quick jizz. Okay, 
so it's very fluid. I'm hoping to get some good swirls. For that brown. It's a, it's a, what is this called? Chocolate espresso fragrance, actually. Chocolate espresso cytola. And it's from Brambleberry. All right. So we'll scrape this off. Um, I use this same spatula. And I should have brought a thing of water to rinse this off with, but I didn't. Now I'm going to take this off and just kind of wipe it down with my... Because I don't want any brown going onto my white when I stick this back in my white. So just kind of wipe it out a bit. There. Um, well, I'll just set that there. So here's my white. And there's my copper, nice and fluid, and pretty fluid here. Now I'm going to make sure you can see my little loaves. We had our first snowfall, if you can call it that, over the weekend. Um, <laughs> it dusted. <laughs> it just dusted. A little bit of snow onto the ground and it melted so thank goodness my husband didn't need to use a snowblower okay so you can see those so I'm just gonna pour brown in each of these while it's still fluid moving into about the same amount in each one here to start like so. Then I'm going to bring my copper and pour from up trying to get it in here without missing And then I think get the rest in here. There. And we'll come back and hit this one with the remainder. I think that's pretty good. Okay, I'm just gonna tamp those just a little bit. It's nice, these are nice and light and not overly too flexible. So just a little more in each. And then we'll come back with the white. And save some brown for the top. Okay. Again, just give them a little shimmy. Like so just to flatten them out a bit. And we'll hit them with some of this white from above. Now 
hopefully we'll save it just a little for some piping just a little and shimmy shake it tamp it down And then I'm going to give it a bit of a swirl. Like so. And we'll tamp it down again. Oh, it smells so good. And then we're going to even it out with what's left of our brown. So just scraping my bowl down here. So, let's see, put some in here. And this one looks a little low. Like that. Uh, maybe a little more. Just trying to eyeball it. And that one's pretty full. Well put some in this little guy down here on the end. There. And not to leave him out either, we'll put just a little bit on top and a little on this last one. This is a really crappy spatula. These skinny ones, I don't know. I really like them. All right. Anyway, that's that. So a little tamp down again. Da, 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 da. Oh, get in there. Good enough. So, this is nowhere near consistency to pipe. And I don't even know if I can get my blender in there to thicken it up. Uh, so we're just gonna let it, let me see. Let me think, do I have something? I think I do. Let's see if my my blender will fit in here, maybe. Yes, okay. So we're gonna try that. That one's, we're gonna sc scoop it into here and try and jizz it with the blender just to get it to thicken up. A bit. And hopefully it'll work. Try to get every little bit in there that I can. Okay. So let me set these off here while I get my blender over here. Hopefully, and I'm going to hold my hand over this. Just 
because I don't want it to splatter out. And we'll scrape that off. Thicken it up a bit. We'll see if it's good enough to pipe a little bit onto the top. I just wanted to do add a little bit of texture onto the top of these soaps. I think that's okay. So, well, it's still, it's a little, a little too thin to pipe. So I'm going to wait for that. In the meantime, I'm going to grab a spoon that I had some mica on. I set that there. And we're just going to do just some fun texturing on the loaves themselves. So, I don't know if you can see. Sorry about that. I'm trying to get you a better, closer view. If that's too close. Whoa, there we go. So we're just going to kind of do some texturing. Like so. Because it's the perfect consistency for that. Like so, just to bring it up and make it beauteous. Like that. So we'll do that on all of these. Back and forth on each side. Like that. It's just, I love playing with soap. Like that. And these will make some gorgeous little soap loaves. Um, so let's see, what else is new? Um, uh, my husband's office is all finished, so I'm wondering what else to move on to now. I think I'm going to, one of these days soon, start painting the upstairs guest room. That's where our little Emma stays when she comes to spend the night. So I should get that painted. I plan on doing a uh, mostly lilac kind of purple and on this one wall I'm going to do, um, and I can't remember what they call it now, where you do like three different colors but you blend them together like in stripes going down the wall. Um, so that's my plan for that room. Okay, so there's that one. Oh gosh, this is making me hungry. This smells so good, so chocolatey. So espresso-y. There's that. Okay. Scrape my spoon off. Get that back in there. All right. There's that. So, how is our... Oh, yeah. That's perfect. All right. So, I'm going to pipe. And I've got just a smaller, um, like a star tip in my little piping bag. So I'm just going to fill this little bag up, try and get as much of this little bit of white out here 
of this container. All right. Good enough. Okay, Let's set that there. So, and you can see where I'm going with that. All right. So I don't have a lot, so I'm just going to do some little kind of decoration. I think right down the side on each one. So I'm just going to kind of go like this. on each one. Hopefully I have enough here. I'm hoping. I don't know. Last but not least, please. I don't think I'm going to have enough for this one. Oh, and then I waste it. All right. So you know what? I'll make that one a little bit different. I'm going to grab my spoon again. into there and I'm just going to kind of go like that since I didn't quite have enough unfortunately so we'll just do that on that one so still cute still cute now, glitter or no glitter? Glitter or no glitter? I don't think we're going to do glitter on this one. I think we're going to leave it as is. Well, you know what? Maybe I'll hit it with a, just a tiny bit of the copper sparkle. On the white. Just a little bit. That one. Not going too crazy. Just a hint. Uh, like so. That took hardly any. And it looks really cute. Even the one I didn't have enough looks really cute so there's that one here we'll bring it in closer and then when we come back we'll pop these out of the mold but I just love how creamy that looks it's so creamy there's that one you can see look at that uh, copper color soap down beneath you can just catch a hint of it anyway So we'll come back tomorrow to pop these out of the mold and let you see what the final little loaves look like. We'll be back. Okay, we're back and we're ready to pop these out of the mold. <clears throat> I'm going to start uh, with this one here, the one that I didn't have enough to do, so I had to do a little swirl uh, with my piping on the side. So anyway, we're just going to loosen the sides and then we'll pop it from the bottom like so beautiful little loaf of course the little crumblies come off from there so there's this one and this one I'm gonna cut just so you can see the inside 
like so. Get my little cutter in there. And here we go. A little soft still. Look at the little wispies. Oops. Trying to get it in there so you can see it. And another slice. And these make a, the most gorgeous little bars. And there's this one. And we'll cut this one in half. Like so. So here's this. And this is the end. Very cute. So we'll put that together up on our uh, curing rack, separate it up, and uh, let it cure. I keep them all together, just so I know they're all part of the same loaf, and just let it cure like that. Um, we'll take the rest of these out. I'm debating, because the rest of these I'll probably put on Etsy as a whole loaf. I don't think I'll cut the rest of these. Just trying to break the seal there. So I'll probably just tidy, tidy up the edges and list them as a loaf. Just trying to pick up my little flakes here. There's this one. Breaking the seal again, just to let it pop right out. Very nice. And loosen this up. Like so. I just love the textured tops. They're so pretty. And here my husband up there rumbling around. There we go. The Sarmoka Espresso. And here's a look at the inside. So, a uh, fun little mold to try. I'll probably be doing other things with these molds. Um, but in the meantime, I wanted to use that beautiful, wonderful, delicious fragrance. Um, it is really too tasty. And uh, here we'll come in for a close-up. fly by. Anyway, like I said, it's too delicious. It smells just so fantastic. So here's our loaves. Here you can see on the end of this one, if I can lift it up, the beautiful copper color mica in there. And you'll see it throughout each bar. I'll have to tidy these up. You can see a little soft still on the inside. But really, really pretty. 
And like I said, just smells divine. So thanks for watching me uh, experiment with my new molds. And uh, if you'd like to see more soap videos, hit subscribe and you'll be notified whenever they pop up. And you can check us out over on Facebook, Instagram, and shop over on Etsy. So thanks again for watching. Bye for now.